Run your money, everybody, run your money. A few moments later Going on a little bit of a road trip, heading towards New Hampshire. Right now we in Boston, about to get something to eat. I think it's called the Friendly Toast or something like that. Uh, but we uh, got a, quite a few friends. We got big old house. Got plans of going snowmobiling. Um, take a train ride. And also, um, gonna do some tubing. So, take you on that journey with me i'm sure it'll be fun got a lot of friends here with us uh, when we get to the house we'll show you what the house looks like and everything see y'all when we get there what's up people you finally made it to new hampshire uh, you saw us traveling as we went through Boston. We stopped and got something to eat at Friendly Toast. And now we are at the house. Uh, there are mad people up in this house. And there's crazy amount of bedrooms. I think more than 10 bedrooms in this place. Uh, so we're gonna take a little bit of a tour around the house. We'll meet some of the people if they wanna be on camera. And um, we got a lot planned for this weekend. We're going snowmobiling. Uh, we're going to do some tubing, we're going to take a train ride to see some scenic views, and then we're going to also uh, enjoy the Super Bowl on Sunday. Uh, so hang out with us as we enjoy our weekend, and uh, let me give you a tour of the house. Me and Anissa staying in here. It's a nice little queen-size bed, walk-in closet, and we got our own little bathroom in here too. They said the view is nice, but I'll have to show you in the morning because you can't really see too much out there because it's mad dark. Let's go outside the room and you'll see people hanging out in here. You know, hanging out with the lights, with the lights off or anything. I can't see. But this is... <laughs> and he's like, no shame, I'm keeping it on. <laughs> This is a nice little area, play pool. Look at this, high ceilings. There's another level up there, I don't even know what's up there. But you can see downstairs. There must be some bedrooms over here too, I'm not sure whose is what. Seating area. Alright, let's go downstairs. Actually, let's go upstairs first. I don't even know what's up there. Let me find out. Does it look like they don't want nobody up there? What's upstairs? Our open bedroom. Open bedroom. But it's like two bedrooms up there? It's a law. It's like there's no one right there. Literally, if you walk up, there's literally no one. So you could just see up and oh, yeah, yeah. So I see. So we had to block it off and we're like, please don't go upstairs. Oh, I see, I see, I see. What up, Jalen? How you? You good? <laughs> right, let's go downstairs. Let's see what else is downstairs. Pardon me, pardon me. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, sorry. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, this house is huge. Did you see the downstairs here? Let's go down. Yeah. What, what? We got a basement? Oh yeah. There's a whole um go. I don't remember, but it's somewhere. All the way down there? Yeah. Let me see. I'll find it. Let me find it. At the end of the stairs and then left again. Alright, cool. Let's see. Oh wow, look at this. We got our own laundry room up in here too. That's what's up. Another bedroom here. Looks like a walk-in closet. Let's see what we got here. I think that might be another bedroom here. Yep. That's just another one there. Look at this kitchen table. Like this table is huge. I'm gonna fix everybody. Is there? 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 I don't see any people playing. Double fridge. What's back this way? Oh, that bathroom. That bedroom. Bathrooms. Bathrooms and bedroom. Another bedroom in here. Somebody's bedroom. I'm going to go in there. Let's see. Got a fire. Fireplace and everything, too. What's up? So, what's up, Chris? Ah, we got the goodies over here, the adult beverages. Let's see what's down this hallway. Oh, this is a bedroom down here. Okay, a couple bedrooms down here. Okay. I heard there was a basement. You know how to get down there? Um, that way. Through this? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I thought this was a bedroom. This is actually a basement. Oh, wow. And you got some more bedrooms down here. It's a bedroom there. There's a bathroom here, another bedroom here, I don't know what game this is, but you got this game table, so you got another kitchen, I forget what they call this game, but you got that down here, also got some more bedrooms, as well as washing machines. Alright, let's make our way back upstairs and see what else we're going to get into. So, you got me? Yeah, you need help or something? You this one. Sure. Sure. That's like that's like five dollars though. Just letting you know. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah. So let me let me ask you a question. You think you could live in a house with all these people? Like if you had to, if you had to. You mean could you <laughs> anything? You know what I mean? Like could you see yourself living in a house this big with a bunch of people like this? I mean. I have my own bathroom. Yeah, you got your own bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, your own bedroom. You think you could do that? Yes, as long as we work together as a team when it comes to doing things like yeah. cooking. Did you see the kitchen? There's, a, there's another kitchen downstairs. Mm -hmm. There's two. I didn't go all the way down. Yeah, there's a basement. But I didn't get to see their room. Uh -oh. Oh yeah, I didn't see theirs either. I, I I took a tour already, but I didn't know there was like yeah. there's one kitchen here yeah, with the double one. fridge, and then there's another one yeah, in the basement. No, nah, I went I went down there. Oh, I, I was asking you went down there. Did you no. see it? You want to go down there? Yeah. Come on, let's go down. Oh, I want. I'll show you. Did I'll show you how I get there. Did you see their personal room? Because they could... No, I didn't see their room. Was, she was trying to show me. It's only like ten percent. Why they got you washing dishes? That's crazy. Hobby, man. That's crazy. Abuse. We didn't sign up for this. Uh, <laughs> this is wrong. There's <laughs> five. Oh, wait. Yeah, she's giving us a tour. That's the thing. Marker's bedroom. That's okay. the bathroom. That's okay. our bedroom. Oh. Is, is it normal? Nice. Oh, well, we'll find out. Right, right now it's oh, this is nice. Where that? That's the closet. That's the closet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. nah, this is tough. That's good. Yeah. This is nice. This is nice. I like your colors. Yeah. This is nice. Mm -hmm. So there's the other kitchen, but it's nice fridge. Mm -hmm. And there's oh, this stuff in there. Full in here already. Not full, but from the spot. Yeah, there goes the washer. Yeah. I remember this. Those must be bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, it's better. Look at me. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't expect this kitchen to be so big. Oh, do you, yeah. you know who's over here? Jessica and um. Joaquin. Patricia. Yeah. No, Natasha. 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 Okay. Okay. And, um, Joaquin, okay. So I think so. Okay. I like the kitchen. You don't even have to go upstairs to eat if you don't pay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pay for food next week. <laughs> so we're not going to the store anymore. Well, I don't need anything, but I'm please. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where you guys at? We was um down. What's up, JD? You good? <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Something smells really good. Oh, uh, you probably smell the onions. That's Will you bring cool. that down downstairs? Oh. Because they already like. Have those three outlets over there. Yeah. That's cool, but also a little weird because it's like vegan, vegan one. That's so good. And then she made a turkey one. Nah, this is good eat. So I got some of your, your recipe. You got, yes. Yeah. I see you almost finished. Almost. I didn't put that seasoning in yet. What else you got in there? The, um, this is this is jalapeno, okay. onions, green onion, white onion and green onions. I see mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, There's chai and the limes. Can you squeeze like, the limes in there the now? Flavor, like, the flavor and keeps it going around. Got you. And the seeds are going on here too. Two seeds. You put two seeds in there? Yeah, oh, only because it's a lot of guac. Oh, okay, okay. The seeds keep it, it slows down the browning process. This is interesting. Yeah, right? Oh. Well, we're shooting 75% of the game. This is, this is where it comes. <laughs> it's right now. It really comes down to the last minutes of the game. What's up, people? Welcome to day two of the New Hampshire trip. Uh, right now, uh, we're getting ourselves together because we got some plans for today. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock or so. I wanted to give you guys a view. Last night, couldn't show you. But that's what it looks like outside. You can see the mountains there. It's supposed to be about 50 something degrees. That ladybug right there. But in any case, yeah, it's supposed to be like 50 something degrees today. Um, but hopefully we can get some snowmobiling in and also uh, some tubing in with uh, the snow there. I didn't eat breakfast yet, so I'm about to go downstairs, see what everybody else is up to, see if we, what we can grab to eat. <laughs> A few moments later. Alright, had some breakfast. Uh, about to get dressed, get ready to head out to snowmobiling. Stay tuned and we'll catch up with you guys once we get out there. Later. <laughs> Run your money, everybody, run your money. Oh, run all your money. Run all your money. <laughs> Give me your money. Give me your money. Everybody, empty your pockets right now. Everybody, empty your pockets. <laughs> 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 I'm nervous, bro. 
<laughs> but you know, that's what you got. Yes. <laughs> I was just vision. You can see. Yes. I can see everything. It's like wearing sunglasses. Yes. Ah. On our way down, snowmobiling. On the car? Yep, we're all in the car. Hey. Get your gloves, right? Time to go. Number one is gonna be this red button here. Mm -hmm. As you guys can see, it pops up and down. This is how you're gonna turn your sled on and off, okay? So obviously you're gonna pop it up when you wanna turn it on. Everyone see this orange button here? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's the only orange button on your handlebar, so it's okay. the only one you start. So you're gonna turn your sled on, you're gonna make sure your red bar here is popped up in the up position. Everyone's gonna hold down that orange start for one, two, now this is the hard part. Ready? How you shut it off? <laughs> we got that. Yeah. We'll do that one more time. One more time. <laughs> we'll do that one more time. So guys, on is gonna be pop up on the red bar. One, two, three. All right. Turn it off. Super easy. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for me? The sled, trails, anything like that? How do you turn it off? Just see. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're starting over. All right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. feet up from where we started. Like now the clouds and the rain just up to the top and just over Rainy. these little peaks right here, right over the through is okay. no, no, no. we'll be able to see them again if it was a nice clear day. But hopefully I mean it's so beautiful even in this little little storm that's rolling over it at the moment. Being as long as that'll fall that way. You got you got some space until it gets gnarly. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at the rain. It's, yeah, there you go, Patricia. <laughs> I'm scared! <laughs> you good, Maddie? Yeah, yeah, this is, I never thought I'd be doing this. Snow's about in Snowville. It's fine. Wow, that's amazing that I, I'm nervous, but I'm happy I did this. Like, a good experience to have. I got the highlighter snowmobile all the way in the back. You all the way in the back. Like the trail of right. all the airports. That's what's beautiful. I wish you could get a picture of that. You good, Keita? Yeah. Uh, luckily, it's <laughs> okay. Have, I'm looking at it here. I'm like, I'm seeing your foot right now. So I got to be like, I realize. I hope I got everything. You guys good? Yeah. <laughs> It's starting to break ever so slightly. It's raining less, that's all we care about. Yeah. So this is White Mountain National Forest? We are in the White Mountain National Forest. Yes, we are in the White Mountain National Forest. All through here, what the range that you're looking at is the prisoner's range. So you can see Monroe, Jackson, here I'll show you. I, if you guys have um, on your phone, it's a great app, it's free. It's called Peak Visor. And I'll show you, it's the coolest thing ever. Watch this. You can see every mountain peak that you guys are looking at right now. It will tell you exactly what you're looking at. So it's called Peak Visor. And if it will help you, it helps you out with like uh, when you're hiking and stuff, lets you know exactly what you're looking at. And then this is the cool part, ready? Shows you now where you're at. So we're sitting right on the top of Bear Mountain right here. So the more you bring it down, it becomes your compass. 
bring it up to your horizon, shows you what you're looking at. Nice. What we can't see, the only thing we actually can't see at the moment is gonna be Mount Washington, which is kind of, as you can see, boop, right there. If you guys can see kind of where I'm pointing. Those are the clouds. Yep, it's in the clouds. It's just behind this first range right here. So you'll see this mountain peak, Mount Washington is just over on the side, yes. So even though it shows you here, you can zoom in. It, you can kind of see the corner of it as yes. you're looking. Yeah. But yeah, you're able to see like Mount Langdon, Wildcat, Iron Mountain, and then you go over this way. And see, it shows me even what's behind their head. Even if I can't see the peaks, it shows me what I'm looking at, even if I can't see. So bring it all to this side. It'll show me what I'm looking at, even though I can't see it. Nice. So this is a very, very helpful, helpful app for when you guys can't find your, your way. How are you doing? I know the wet doesn't help. Because no. oh. when it slides, I'm like, don't, don't, don't. It's easier when you go faster. It's funny. Well, and then I'm like, slow down. See, I'm not tag fast. Uh, because I was trying to go slow, and I was like, no, I'm bouncing too much from side to side. If you go faster, it's smoother. Looks like the clouds opened up. You see, the storm kind of passed this way, so the storm is over there now. So you can't see too much down there. This is starting to open up. You can see the top of the mountains. And all the way in the back, there's a snow-capped mountain there. We came from down there in the middle. All right, all right. And rolled all the way up the mountain. I love being able to be up here. You can literally see the weather move. Is it true the faster you go, the less wobbly you're going to be? A little bit. Okay. Just keep little bit. To the left. It will help you just kind of glide over the top of everything. The slower you go, your skis are going to want to dig into all of the, yeah. the snow. Yeah. So as you guys kind of That's pick true. up speed, you'll feel it kind of almost smooth out a little bit. I kept them, like, moving too hard. I yeah. to, like, go a little faster on those long stretches. Yes. No, you guys are doing fine. Trust me. Like, we're, we're running at a very, very normal average pace, which is great. Um, well, my so, are yeah, awesome. We're oh going to get you guys turned around and what we're going to do, we're going to go That's almost awesome. all the way back to where we came, but we're going to loop in and then play in the experimental forest. Oh, this is part right down yeah. here at the bottom. We'll get you guys on some new trails so for sure. So what do you feel about city folk becoming country folk? Very country. <laughs> Your country is hell today. Uh -uh. I love uh -uh. it. This is as country as it gets. <laughs> I know so. I can't do anything. <laughs> You see, this is a tiny American snowball. Oh, then go Wait, look how snow deep the snow is. Yeah, I saw that. We almost, we almost lost Pearl. <laughs> oh, you yeah, I got stuck in there. Even though. Is that a George? Yeah, she just had a George first. Yeah. She'd be like, who is you with though? Uh, we meet you down there, Pearl. <laughs> we'll meet you down there. <laughs> At home, yeah. I would not want to get my foot stuck in there. Yeah, don't worry, neither did Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck in there, man. Perfect. All right, guys, let's get you loaded on back up. We're gonna go almost. Yeah. I think Shakira would have enjoyed this. Yeah. I, I'm just, yeah. She would have enjoyed having her own. Like, she would have been she was, yeah. she was like, I want my own. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
they would keep it open for us, but the main gate is for the cars. Yeah. But that's a regular two-lane road in the summertime. Oh, okay. They close okay. it in the in the winter for us because we're spoiled and we like snowmobile. Oh, I didn't even realize that we oh, yeah. around the. <laughs> that was a regular in the summertime. If you guys come up, you can drive up in your car and stop at the same outlook post we just took pictures at. It brings you up and over the hill, but in the wintertime, they close it just for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's called uh, Bear Notch Road. Okay. Bear Notch Road. It brings you from Route 302, which is this, up and over Bear Mountain to the Kangamangas Highway. Okay. It's very, very nice. So our next camping trip, we oh, yeah. get you there. Hey. This yeah. is a wheel looking thing, guys. That's an old school horse drawn groomer. So if you notice our trails were nice yes, and flat, yes, yes. the horses used to drag that, it used to roll flat in the snow for snowmobilers way back in like the wow. 30s and 40s. So that's a nice big Bartlett oh, staple there. That's cool. Oh, cool. oh yeah. You'd <laughs> be surprised how early they had stuff. You guys are in the state where snowmobiling was invented. Really? Oh. The very first snowmobile was made and produced in Ossipee, New Hampshire. <laughs> okay. Just finished snow snowmobile and how'd y'all enjoy it? It was a lot of fun. It was, it was the fun. best. It was yes. an adventure. The next time I do, I hang 50. I mean 50, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it, it again. Very good. very good. Yeah, we gotta come back. We gotta come back. That was fun. Now we're off tubing now. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get there. See y'all there. <laughs>